everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. So glad you guys have come back again to visit. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, I took a very quick trip into Michael's and I grabbed up a few things because I woke up with something on my mind this morning that I want to bring to fruition. As I've been saying in all my little tour videos around all of our craft stores in town here, I'm fixing to make my St. Patrick's Day wreath. And I'm going to be making it on this big wreath form that already has the chenille ties installed. This is a 24 inch wreath form and a wreath when made on this will turn out to be about 32 to 34 inches around. It takes up almost oh, the whole width of my front door. So I like it to make a statement. As y'all know, my house sits way back from the road and I like to be able to see my wreath, you know, when I'm coming up the driveway. Not that anybody else really sees it, but we know it's there and we see it. So there we go. So my idea this morning was I bought this wreath frame on sale. It was $9.99 from Hobby Lobby and it was like 80% off. And we have a lot of wreaths, as you know, and have seen in our basement. And poor Chris is having issues trying to store all of the wreaths. So I'm thinking, what can I do to make it easier to store the wreaths? So what I came up with was, much like I do with my lantern decor, why can't I make a one basic wreath using cream burlap, doing two rows of that and then choosing other accent pieces and no glue and just putting the accent pieces and a bow on the bottom and make two wreaths out of one basic frame and cream burlap. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day wreath out of this and then at Easter time I'm going to take all the St. Patty's Day stuff off and replace it with some Easter stuff. I'm not going to make the wreaths today in this video. I'll do that tomorrow or this week sometime and get that video, the St. Patty's Day wreath video up for you guys. But I just wanted to show you my haul that I just got from Michaels and what my thoughts are about how I'm going to put both wreaths together. So as I said, the wreath form, burlap, cream burlap on both. And then for the St. Patrick's Day wreath, I already had these green these are plastic flowers, to be quite honest with you. They are plastic. And much like my Valentine's Day wreath, I'll put a picture of it right here. Much like that, I'm going to do these two wreaths in much the same vein. I'm going to make the Easter wreath a little fancier, though I'll tell you. But for the St. Patty's Day wreath, I'm going to use these plastic green flowers at the top with one burlap, cream burlap flower. This sign will hang down from the middle and then I will make a big, fat, green, emerald green, St. Patty's Day green bow for the bottom. I'm not gonna glue one thing on. I will use either the chenille ties to attach or the pipe cleaner like on the bow that I'll, I'll use to close the bow to attach. So no glue will be used so that I can easily remove these accent pieces and then put the Eastery accent pieces on. So I've, you all have seen me purchase these few things. Well, these I already have. And I had to order this off of Amazon. I could not find emerald green. I just wanted an emerald green burlap for the St. Patty's Day boat. So to be honest with you, I paid... $9.99 for this on Amazon Prime. And I will use this entire bolt for the bow. So that's a little pricier than I normally will spend, to be honest, but I knew what I wanted. So sometimes I will bite the bullet and spend a little bit more to get the look that I'm trying to achieve. All right, so that does it for the St. Patty's Day wreath. I will tell you today, when I was in Michael's, I picked up some of these which are just white and green carnations. 
and they were in with the St. Patrick's Day stuff and they were only $2.99 and they were 50, I think 50% off of that. Then I had these coupons that I'll show you in just a second. But I, I just, I'm gonna take these back, y'all. I don't like these. I don't like them with the cream. I just don't like them. So I'm gonna be unpacking things and when I come across these, they will be put to one side and I will take them back to Michael's this week. All right, so then I, that's why I decided this is how I'm gonna make the St. Patty's Day wreath and not with these. So let's go through my haul here, what I purchased at Michael's today. I spent a total of $67.30. But I'm going to insert right here my coupons. I have a picture of my coupons. I had a 25% off for the entire purchase. And then I had a 40% off of one item. So each of the, okay, so I spent $67.30 and I'm going to be taking, I had four of these I think back and they were $3 a piece for 50% off. So I'm going to be taking all of them back. So subtract that off. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what I purchased at Michael's. First thing, I don't know whether you guys have seen, I'll try to put a link to a burlap wreath that I used a pit berry garland around to kind of fill out the wreath. The one that's up above my fireplace, I'll put a picture of it right here. And as you can see, I used a pit berry garland. I wanted something a little bolder than that for my Easter wreath. Remember, I'm going to be using this wreath frame again. So I went ahead and I purchased two egg garlands. Now I don't know whether I'll need all both of them, but I can certainly use, if I don't use both on the wreath, I will be able to use it somewhere else with my Easter decor or in a lantern or somewhere. So I bought two of these and each of these were $20. But I had the coupon and if I wait until their Easter stuff goes on sale, I'll already have my Easter stuff hung up by that time. And I am tired of waiting on these folks to get them, there's, get the stuff on sale. So Chris actually, he clipped the coupons for me and had them here on the counter this morning for me. And I utilized the 25% off for the entire purchase. So, you know, what can you do? So did buy two of those, move them up there. And let me get the sign out. I purchased this sign. And it was $9.99. And it's just like a melamine, maybe? Sign, little wooden sign. Let's see if I can get it close to you guys. And it just says, Welcome Easter. It has a couple bunnies on it. It has pinks and greens. It's really pretty. So that will hang in place of the St. Patrick's Day sign. And then all of this other stuff will go with it. You can see that these blend really nicely with it. And I bought some dogwood flowers. They will go like that at the top, like the green plastic things did. And I'm also going to add, and these for 50% off of $9.99, each bundle of these. And I'm also going to add, as I said, I wanted to make the Easter wreath a little bit fuller and bigger. Because it will, I'll probably leave it up a little longer than I will the St. Patrick's Day wreath. This was $12.99, 50% off of that. And I will put some of that in with the pink flowers. And then one beautiful, how much was this first? $5.99, 50% off of that pink flower. That'll go right at the top in the middle. And then I purchased pink 
ribbon. I love pink. Pink's one of my favorite colors. And I don't get to use it in my decorating because I don't use pink to decorate with usually, but I do love it. So this is the pink that I used or that I'm going to use. And the rest of the stuff were these lovely green flowers that I'm going to take back three more tufts of them. So they are going to go back. I'm going to put my receipt right with them. So they will go back. So there we go. We're going to see how this works. Sometimes I get a little frustrated and I want to glue a couple of things on just to make sure that they stay put. But this time I'm going to really try to cinch them down nicely with the twist ties and chenille ties and, and the pipe cleaners that I use to do the bows. So we'll see if this works. This will be an experiment. And then that way we'll only have to store one wreath and then the accent pieces for the other. If I hadn't have glued the red things onto my Valentine's wreath, I could have done it for all three uh, holidays which you guys could do, but I can't because I already glued everything down and I don't want to pull it apart because that'll just ruin it. So, but had I thought about this before, duh me, I could have done it Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter. Had the same kind of wreath, same basic wreath with the burlap, but then had three totally different looking wreaths just because of the accent pieces that I used. So, like I said, much like I do my lantern centerpieces, I use the basic lantern and tray and only change out the accent pieces as the seasons go by. So anyway, I'm going to try this with this wreath and I'm going to start with the St. Patrick's Day wreath tomorrow or very soon this week. So, all right, that is my Michael's haul and my explanation about my St. Patrick's Day wreath and Easter wreath. And stay tuned for the St. Patrick's Day wreath first. <laughs> And I will just say, until next time, you guys take good care. Bye-bye.